what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to debadge your car. So I decided to go and do this right ahead because I don't know. I feel like this probably might look ugly in the back of my car. So basically, what you want to do is you want to get like a hair dryer. And then you want to grab some floss, some, some floss pretty much, and then just go around the emblem. Basically, reapply the heat if you needed to, um, if it doesn't get off easily. I kind of tend to find the, the 330 on this emblem kind of a bit harder to take off. Other than that, I just reheat it and it should be these. There we are. Then what I'd like to do next is that since basically people tell you to just basically take the adhesive off while it's hot, I kind of find it easy to just spray a little bit of goo on, on it on right here and then just basically give it a few seconds and then just come around and just take your remaining adhesive off your finger. Okay that was a huge pain in the ass to take off but yeah so basically once you're done taking off the adhesive now I'm gonna apply my basically my last coat of goo gone just basically getting rid of the adhesive that I wasn't wasn't able to get. Get the side another rub so that way um, basically there's no adhesive left. I don't know if you guys can see, but like right here, there's some residue left. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some wax and basically just clean the, re the rest of the residue off and we should be good. Basically it guys, so debadging complete, and I'm not gonna lie, I think the debadging looks amazing on this car. Also if you guys are wondering what happened to my carbon fiber spoiler, um, basically the insulation went wrong, um, basically the sides weren't adhering properly so I'm basically be doing another video basically showing you guys how to install the carbon fiber lift spoiler but other than that, I'm not gonna lie, I love the debadging and if you guys have a BMW, I recommend you should probably do this as well. Peace out.